Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do uh, a quick one card reading for you, all right? And let's see what that card for you is. That card is the Eight of Cups. All right, let's talk about it. Talk about it, talk about it. You might wanna to talk to somebody if somebody wants to talk about it, okay? Talk about it with you. The Eight of Cups, so it talks about, first I got sen uh, okay self-analysis, okay? So you need to analyze yourself, okay? Uh, the eights talk about cycles, going in a circle. If we're going in a circle, then we're, that means we're hitting the same points over and over again, okay? If you're going, if you're driving in a roundabout and you never get off the roundabout, then you just keep seeing the same exits, but you never get off, right? So maybe some of you are just doing the same thing over and over again, um, or you're dealing with someone who is in that energy it could be a Piscean person. This could be like the last ditch effort to get something together. It could be in regards to a relationship where there's familiar, platonic, uh, romantic, whatever it may be. This is the last time. This is the final opportunity for you to get something together. This could even be the need to seek counseling, help, therapy, uh, a listening ear. The Eight of Cups also talks about maybe walking away out of self-respect. I don't know if you need to walk away from something or someone walked away from you. You know your life. What some walking away happened, okay? Or it needs to happen. You need to walk away out of self-respect. This talks about the soul trip. Take a little trip. This talks about a, a journey, going on a soul journey, a spiritual journey of unknown length. So you can't go on this journey and like, okay, yeah, I want to be all spiritually, uh, you know, ascended and um, get my chakras in alignment in six months. No, that's not what, this is not that. This is unknown length. This also could be checking out of something like you're emotionally withdrawn. You're despondent. You don't care. There, there's no uh, care there. There's no emotion there. It could be cold for something or for someone or someone has grown cold with you it's all because it's been a cycle it's been a circle or the same thing you've been hitting the same points we've been going over the same uh arguments we've been having the same issues we do the same thing we meet up and drink the same liquor we go to the same places uh you drop your underwear in the same place and never pick them whatever Somebody is checked out because it, there's no lateral movement. There's no forward movement. It's a cycle. And now it's come to a place of somebody's not fulfilled in this cycle anymore. The Eight of Cups also talks about finishing something up and moving on. So it's like, finish this thing up. I'm like, I'm trying, I need to finish out the lease and then move on. I need to... Uh, finish up uh, this project. Uh, maybe if I work for myself and then move on, I need to finish up this relationship. I said that I would stay in it uh, this long. Um, and, it, and if they don't change or I don't see significant change, then I'm leaving. It could be even a job. I don't see significant change because I'm already checked out from this shit. I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm finishing up and I'm moving on. And sometimes it's moving on and not even knowing where you're going, but you just know you have to leave. This could be a life altering choice that you have to make. So it's going to alter your life. It's going to shift, change, make new, uh, maybe even bring in conflict before you get some, some resolution there, bring in conflict. Um, cause it's going to be a life altering change. So maybe some people won't like it. Uh, maybe you won't like it in the beginning, but it's life altering. It's time. It's now. It could have something to do with a love relationship. I heard going back to making amends also. Or someone is doing this in regards to you. This could be travel. This could be going on a spiritual retreat. This is, this could even be the need to clear your mind. It could be in regards to a love relationship. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know if I want to stay in it. I don't know. I don't know. I need to clear my mind. I need to get away from it. 
I need to finish something up, whether I need to finish up uh, analyzing where I want to be and then I'm going to move on with my person or I'm going to move on by myself. Or It's a finishing up and moving on. It's self-analysis. Analyze yourself first. It's a spiritual journey. It's a trip. It's despondency. It's being checked out. It's uh, giving to something that doesn't serve you any longer. It's a circle. It's a cycle. We've been doing this over and over. This could even be having cyclical emotions and thoughts in regards to a relationship or a relationship that cycles in and cycles out. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes you are talking to the person. Sometimes you are not. But it's a choice that needs to be made. Are you in or are you out? Are you doing it or are you not? This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Down in the comment section, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, an intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.